Hi, this is Rich with Rich Tech. Uh, on the first part of this video, I showed you the outside features of a genuine versus a fake MagSafe charger. Today, I'm going to show you the internal features of a genuine versus a fake MagSafe charger. And uh, for those of us who are able and tech savvy, want to know the insides, how they look like, this is for you. Uh, we are going to open a MagSafe charger and look at the insides and see what the counterfeiters do and what the genuine manufacturers do and this will give us further insight towards uh, what we learned in the first part i'm going to check the circuit of the genuine magsafe charger versus the circuit of the fake magsafe charger we are going to uh, know why the genuine magsafe charger is heavy and why the fake one is light and uh, we are going to learn some more things and uh, stay tuned the point where the charger wires join the charger board itself there is a joint made of rubber and plastic and these are manufactured as one piece together with the cables in a genuine charger but in a fake charger the rubber junction is separate from the wire in other words you can slide the wire in and out of it and there is no plastic material at the end at the back of this rubber material so this is an, a big differentiator of the genuine versus fake. Another differentiator is the wires themselves. The wires of the genuine chargers are silverish in color, while the wires in a fake charger are copperish. One of them may be copper and the other one uh, silverish, or the, both of them are copper, uh, in, uh, copper colored or reddish color in a fake charger, that is. So beware and be on the lookout for this. Uh, the other point uh, is uh, I want to point out to you is uh, where the wires join the circuit board of the charger itself. At this point, if it's a fake charger, the wires are just pushed into the circuit board as soldered. A bit of solder is put there so that uh, it can do and perform its work for a short function, a short time. But in a genuine charger, the manufacturer has put in a lot of work as you can see. The insulation is there, supports for this uh, point is there, so that these don't break off easily. And of course you can start seeing a bit of the circuit, uh, circuitry of the genuine versus the fake charger. We are going to go into this uh, later into this video. But I wanted to point out to you another thing I brought up in the last video. We talked about the weight of your charger. The, your charger should feel like it's heavy you should feel its weight let me explain uh, genuine chargers are generally heavier than counterfeit chargers and uh, i told you counterfeiters have gotten around and used this method in a different way so as to confuse even further what have they done uh, first of all let's look at uh, the inside in a genuine charger there is a uh, copper casing or uh, wrap around of the charger uh, components while in a fake one there is just a metallic iron or steel wrap around with holes inside this is to save the counterfeiter some money so that it doesn't use a lot of metal and in car a lot of costs of course going in we see that the genuine charge has a lot of components it's full the circuit board is full and completely full but the fake one is pass you see some components are missing and the components which are there are uh, not genuine the the components that are there are like uh, just to save you for three months so that you can uh, buy a new charge after this fake one blows of course not not everything is in there as you can see on the right side we have the genuine charger all the components are there that's why when you knock it with your knuckle before you open it it feels solid it feels uh, heavy and uh, compact as compared to the one on the left which is a fake one which feels hollow when you knock it with your knuckle of course if all the components are there then the back of the circuit of your genuine charger will have a lot of uh, or complex uh, uh, it will be complex as the one which is on the right side 
as you can see it is very complex as many things which have been soldered onto it because it has all the components but the fake one has past components so it is very simple as you can see it has many spaces in between and this is another uh, uh, differentiator okay. You remember that sound? <laughs> Why did we have that shaking sound inside? Counterfeiters have realized that you are bound to notice the weight of your charge if it's so light. So what they, do they do? They make a metal plate which is heavy enough and put it inside your charger body so that when you pick up your charger it feels heavy. But as you can see on the right side it's a metal weight this is meant to cover for the components that they've left behind the components they have left aside so that it saves them money the metal weight is meant to cheat you uh, that the charger is genuine but in a genuine charger you don't need a metal weight it has the weight of a me of a genuine charger so this beware of this metal a plate you can shake your charger but sometimes they hold it inside there with a glue so that when you shake it it doesn't uh, give any sound but be on the lookout or be on the feel uh, for such tricks for by counterfeiters it's just a metal plate meant to hoodwink you now opening up your charger itself inside you can see that the fake one still has very many heavy steel components put inside as you can see the body is empty but the metal plates are everywhere the genuine one doesn't need this i hope this video has uh, showed you how you can uh, uh, differentiate differentiate between the genuine and the fake charger and uh, with the both videos now you can be able to make an informed choice on whether you're buying a fake or a genuine charger and if you like this video, please kindly uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, be on the lookout for the new videos like this. Thanks for watching.